Interior linemen are used to seeing much of the credit go elsewhere. This past week, for instance, the UH Warrior defense caused a fourth quarter San Jose State fumble, which led to the game tying Hawaii score in regulation, forcing overtime where UH ultimately won the game. Initially, the credit was given to linebacker Blaze Suarez for popping the ball loose. But as it turns out, it was somebody else. D tackle Michael Lafaele, the subject of our KHON 2 Athlete of the Week. John Veneri has the story. KHON 2 Athlete of the Week is brought to you by the laborers and union contractors, proudly building Hawaii. No, he did a good job. He's, he's there to secure the tackle, and you know, if the ball didn't pop out, you know, would it would have been four down. And uh, it was just a good effort by everybody on defense. It was quite possibly the biggest play of the game. The credit was given to the wrong player. That was until the team watched the film and confirmed what Big Mike already knew. You know, when I hit the guy, I felt it at the top of my head. I popped the ball out, and uh, I knew it instantly that I popped the ball because the play wasn't even over. I was running to the sideline straight. I knew, I knew we had the ball. And I knew how long I did it, but uh, you know, I just don't play, man. It was all you. It's all good, but. Uh, you know, we all played together, play as a team, and he created it, but it's all good. You can already tell Lafaele is an unselfish warrior. The Farrington graduate is always quick to credit his teammates. He refers to them as his family, to go along with the family he has at home. My wife and my kids, you know, that's my main, uh, my main uh, inspiration in life. My family, my, my dad passed away, my mom and my brothers. So, you know, I, I just play for them, and I play for my, my boys, you know, my teammates. You know, come out here, you know, I bust my butt, and, you know, I, I watch them, and, they're just an inspiration to me as well, you know, as I am today. Motivated could be another great word to describe the senior defensive lineman. Coming into the season, he lost 30 pounds to improve his mobility and essentially lived in the weight room. A Washington Redskins scout grabbed me before the San Jose game and, and made that same comment. He said, you know, he's not, he's not the prettiest guy in the world, but boy, boy, does he play. And he plays hard and he's tough. And, you know, everybody at every level is looking for those kind of guys. Uh, he's a beast, man, you know. <laughs> I said it before, but yeah, uh, I think he's one of the best D-tackles in the conference, and uh, hopefully he'll get more recognized in the nation. The dream of an NFL career is in the back of his mind, but as is always the case with Lafaele, his first priority is to help his team to a possible dream season. Uh, it's to go all the way, you know, beat everybody that we play and go to that big bowl and show everybody in the country that, you know, we play good football out here in Congratulations to Warrior Mike Lafaele, our k 2 Athlete of the Week. And UH, of course, on a bye this week. New Mexico State coming to town the following week. With about six minutes to go, I called him over. I said, Cole, you win this game for us. You, you get it done. This will do more for you than you ever will imagine. And, uh, and it will. With that said, Cole Brennan responded, leading the UH football team past San Jose State Friday night, rallying the Warriors from a 14-point deficit with four minutes to play forcing overtime, tied at 35, and winning it in OT, 42-35, staying unbeaten at 7-0. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. It's all about winning. Now, stats look good, and the Warriors lead the country, scoring 52 points per game, but it's not about numbers at this point. Cole Brennan's poise, his moxie, leadership under adverse conditions, those are the things that stick out from Hawaii's win over the Spartans. I think that Colts play in that game will win him the Heisman if he plays well the last five games. You know, that's what I think. Colts 44 completions and 75 attempts were school records. He threw for 545 yards and four touchdowns, ran for a score, and tossed four interceptions. I think Colt, if the ball had been dry, you know, probably would have thrown maybe one pick, you know and we would have had probably 750 yards passing um, instead of 545. Besides being the top scoring team in the land, UH is second in passing at 464 yards per game and fourth in total offense at 539 yards per outing. Teams on a bye this week, back in action next Saturday, hosting New Mexico State. What a difference a year makes with all the talk about the Bowl Championship Series and Hawaii's postseason plans right now. No one's mentioning the Hawaii Bowl. Remember when Hawaii reached seven wins last year to qualify, the Warriors were celebrating at Utah State where they received a formal invitation, accepting the first bowl invitation in the country. This time around at 7-0, no one's really talking about UH's opportunity at Conference USA team. The focus is on the bigger BCS Bowl that requires an undefeated season. The Warriors do, though, realize the Hawaii Bowl berth is theirs, but they're working on another title they want first. 
Um, you know, we noticed that, but, you know, right now we're just playing for the WAC championship. We don't want to worry about postseason. Um, it seems to be a lot of talk about that with BCS and uh, different bowl games, but we want to just focus on the games at hand, you know, next week and, uh, and win one game at a time and be WAC champs.